No, you were asking me about ham being naked. I don't know. Uh, no one being naked. No, I still like it when you said ham, bro, because, you know, I don't know something about you and ham. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, let's read. Genesis 9, we're going to start at verse 20. Then mm -hmm. Noah began to be a man of the land and planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and became drunk and uncovered himself inside his tent. Okay. Now, here's what he's referring to. Then Ham, mm -hmm. the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Jepheth took the garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were turned backwards, so they did not see their father's nakedness. Then Noah woke from his wine, and he knew what his youngest son had done to him. So he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants. He shall be to his brothers. The real question is, what does it mean that Ham exposed the nakedness of his father? Right. Now, you can read this in one of two ways. You can read this as Ham had fathered Canaan when they came off the ark, or this is what we call a retrospective perspective, meaning when Ham did what he did, Canaan was not born yet. But the writer who's writing after the fact, writing after the fact, is aware that later Ham will father Canaan. Everyone with me here? Let's go a little deep. Mm -hmm. Everyone with me there? Yeah, I'm following. So now there are two ways of interpreting this. I'm just giving you two ways, guys. So listen carefully because this is important. I'm going to give you the two ways people interpret this. Two ways. Okay, number one. Ham saw his father in a drunken stupor, naked, and having just humiliated himself. So Ham mocked him. Hey, hey, guys, look at my dad. Ha, ha, ha. And so Shem and Jepheth, not wanting to mock their father in his drunken stupor, where he's there naked, fully naked, humiliated, honor their father by covering him. So when then Noah woke up, he realized what happened. So he blesses Shem and Jepheth, but he curses Canaan. But then the question is, why curse Canaan when Canaan didn't sin? Yeah, that's the question I have. Exactly. I want to get there. Yeah. So then you're left with, okay, if that's the reason, why not curse Ham? Why curse Canaan? Why curse him? What did Canaan do? Now, the second explanation. I'm giving you two interpretations. Don't condemn me. Whatever you feel that is the right one, seek the Holy Spirit to confirm it. But I'm telling you the two interpretations. Okay, now, with this said, if we take the view that Canaan hasn't been born when Ham exposed his father's nakedness. Now, this is going to get controversial. But remember, we believe Moses wrote Genesis. Moses wrote Genesis. All right. So the same Moses is going to then explain the things that are happening in Genesis later on in the giving of the law. A lot of things in Genesis will be mentioned that later are elaborated in the law. We assume that Canaan is not born yet. But the writer, Moses, coming after the fact, said, Ham eventually fathered Canaan. And now Noah, Noah and Ham, when they have this encounter, Canaan is not born yet. But Moses is still reminding you that Ham fathered Canaan because Canaan is important to the discussion. So now let's go with nakedness. Then Ham, the father Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside, Shem and Japheth took the garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were turned backward, so they did not see their father's nakedness. Now, Moses who wrote this, let's see. He says, when you go into the land of Canaan, don't do what the Canaanites do or what the Egyptians did. It's because of these sins, the Canaanites will be destroyed. Now, who are the Canaanites? Sons of Canaan, right? Right. So notice, centuries later, we have the Canaanites living in the land of Canaan, named after their father, the etiology Canaan. So Canaan settled, and his descendants lived there, so it's the land of Canaan. They're the Canaanites. So now the Israelites, or the sons of Shem, will dispossess them, just like Noah prophesied, right? Canaan be the servant of Shem, right? Right, right. And the Israelites are the sons of Shem, and they're now going to dispossess and ensnare the Canaanites. So the prophecy is being fulfilled. But why 
a prophecy that Canaan is cursed. You're going to get it there. Notice right. what the Canaanites would do. You shall not do according to what is done in the land of Egypt, where you live, nor are you to do according to what is done in the land of Canaan. So look at what the Canaanites are doing. Where I'm bringing you, you shall not walk in their statutes. You are to do my judgments and keep my statutes to walk in them. I am Yahweh your God. So you shall keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man does them, he shall live by them, and I'm Yahweh. Now notice Canaan's descendants, the kind of sins they commit, that God is saying, because of these sins, I'm going to punish them. None of you shall approach any blood relative of his to uncover nakedness. Okay, now there's that word, right? right? I am Yahweh. So what it does it mean to uncover someone's nakedness? You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father. Is that what Ham did? He saw and he exposed his father's nakedness, right? Right. But what is your father's nakedness? It's your mother's nakedness. You shall so not sweet. uncover the nakedness of your father. That is the nakedness of your mother. She is your mother. You are not to uncover her nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's wife. It is your father's nakedness. To uncover your father's nakedness means to sleep with your stepmother or your mother. Wow. That's... Now, what is the punishment if you do that? Leviticus 20, 11. If there is a man who lies with his father's wife, has sex, he has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood guiltiness is upon them. If we read Genesis in light of Moses, Ham exposing his father's nakedness, and the language of Moses means he saw his mother naked, but it's more than seeing. It's to have sex with your mother. Okay, so what's the sin here? Ham slept with um, Noah's wife. And who's Noah's wife? His mom. Okay. That's if we take the language of Leviticus 18, 8 mm -hmm. and 20, 11. Right? So then why curse Canaan? Yeah, why curse Canaan? What do you think the implication is? Who is Canaan? Where did Ham get Canaan from? From, from his mom. Whose mom? Uh, Ham. That's the implication. Oh, it's, it's oh sorry, I'm slow. Incestuous relationship resulting in the birth of Canaan. That's the point. That Canaan was the bastard seed of an incestuous relationship between Ham and his mother. He got his mother pregnant. So the implication is Canaan is cursed because he is the incestuous seed of Ham exposing his father's nakedness by getting his mother pregnant. That's why the Canaanites, following the pattern of their ancestor, continued in incest. They're following the pattern of their ancestor. Canaan is the result of incest, so they indulge in incest. What were their sins in Leviticus 18? Incest. Where do you think they picked that up from? From Ham. Like father, from like son, right? Yeah, like father, like son. So since Canaan's origin is incestuous, it's not a surprise that his seed, his descendants, are all committing incest. Father sleeping with daughter, mother sleeping with son, son sleeping with stepmother, Daughter sleeping with stepfather, and on and on it goes. So that's why the Canaanites are cursed. Because God is showing Noah the cursed future of this cursed incestuous seed. But God, Moses is writing it in a way that you have to decipher its meaning by reading Genesis in light of what comes later. Because Moses is careful to write in such a way where he doesn't completely shame and disgrace Noah for what his son did to his mother, Noah's wife. And so he's going to use the language of nakedness, which later on he explains. So that means that Canaan was conceived later after Ham had exposed his father's name by sleeping with his mother, getting pregnant. And then after Canaan is born, he then prophesied. So this is a period of time that occurred, which now the author is condensing. He's taking what would have taken years to happen, but he's condensing it. Right? Right. It shows how beautiful the Bible is, too. Oh, say it again. 
that shows how beautiful the Bible is. One, Canaan himself could be forgiven if he repented, but his cursed line continued to follow in the sin of their ancestor instead of repenting, but that God will even forgive Canaanites if they turn and repent. And that's what you find in Joshua 2, 8 to 11. But if the Canaanites repent, God would forgive them and spare them. Even for the Canaanites, God didn't want to wipe them out.